In this video, we'll show you how to open the Dirac Live software and get the microphone configured to the correct levels. Once the room is ready and the AVR and computer are on the same network, open the Dirac Live software. If the AVR doesn't show up or the configuration is wrong, go back and check the AVR or network settings and restart the Dirac Live software. If everything's ready and on the same network, you'll see the AVR and its speaker configuration in the System Configuration menu. If everything looks good, click Proceed. Note that the Dirac Live software has a handy Help menu at the right of the screen that you can toggle on and off at any time by clicking the Help button. The Help menu is a step-by-step -step assistant for you to reference at any point throughout the entire calibration process. Now it's time to select the microphone. From the Recording Device drop-down menu on the Mic Config page, be sure to select the connected microphone type. Next, you'll need to load the specific calibration file for the microphone you're using. If you're using a third-party microphone like the recommended Mini DSP U-Mic 1, you'll find the file on the microphone manufacturer's website and enter the specific serial number for your microphone to download the calibration files onto your computer. The Mini DSP U-Mic 1 has two calibration files, a 90 degree file and a standard file. Use the 90 degree file for placing the mic upwards toward the ceiling. You're ready to move on. Now click Proceed. Now it's time to set the microphone input and speaker output levels in the Output and Levels tab. This ensures that measurements are accurate and consistent for all channels. First, lower the input gain down to zero. You can do this by clicking and dragging the control left or right. You may need to make slight adjustments to the input gain according to the size of your room or the noise floor. Now you'll need to identify the speaker with the lowest output or least sensitivity to adjust the master output level to that speaker. You'll need to check the output level of each individual speaker while running an output signal test to see which one has the least output. Press the play button by the first speaker to run the signal test and make note of how far the decibel meter goes. Then press the arrow down button on your keyboard to check the next one you can move up and down to double check each speaker. Repeat this step for all speakers except the subwoofer until you've identified the speaker with the lowest output. Then adjust the master output volume at the top of the screen until the speaker's level is set at minus 12 dB. Now run the signal test for the other speakers and using the channel level adjustment bar at the right of each speaker to adjust the output level to minus 12 dB. The subwoofer should be set manually at a moderate listening level using the subwoofer's own dial. If you run a signal test and the subwoofer is either too quiet or too bassy, Adjust the subwoofer levels using the level controls of the subwoofer. Dirac Live will still optimize the subwoofer throughout the calibration process. Once all the levels have been set, click Proceed.